to my YouTube channel. My name is Phoebe. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for tuning in today. To all my returning subscribers, all my new subscribers, thank you all so so much. I really do appreciate you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about scholarships for international students in the UK and how you can apply to them. If this is your first time on this channel, please do subscribe if you enjoyed this video and also turn your notification button on so you can know every single time I post a video. Let's just get started. So first of all, we have two major types of scholarships in the UK. We have the scholarships that are funded by the government and we have scholarships that are funded by your university. So for the government, we, for example, we have the Shibni Scholarship, right? So the Shibni Scholarship is an international program that helps award students that possesses like leadership quality skills and they help you to pay for your tuition fee, your living allowance, your visa cost, um, your flight to and fro back to UK to back to your own country and also living allowance. This is very very competitive as I've heard and you can also check it out if you're eligible. You have to check if your country is eligible for the scholarship and immediately you're done with your program, you need to return back to your country immediately. You also need to have working experience and you also need to apply to about three UK universities and at least get one unconditional letter from one of those universities. Another example of government scholarship is the Commonwealth Scholarship. This applies to students that come from the Commonwealth countries like Africa, India, and it's also fully funded. It covers your tuition fee, living allowance, and if you are also a mother, it covers your child allowance. And you need to have about two one honors or above in your undergraduate degree. You can also check out the UK Council of International Student Affairs to see if you are eligible for any scholarship. I'm going to link it down below. So moving on to scholarships from universities. So first of all, it will be hard to see a university that will cover your old tuition fee. So um, the one I've seen, they could cover from 10% to 50% of your tuition fees. So um, there are different types of scholarships under these um, universities. The first is education excellence. This applies to students that want to study masters or PhD. You must have at least a first class in your undergraduate degree or or good results because this um, scholarship is judged based on your academic performance from your undergraduate degree. So for example, um, University of Southwold, which is my university, they offer International Excellence Award and this applies to students who have at least second class upper or above from their undergraduate degree. You also need to have proof of good academic results and you've met all the academic um, requirements or deadlines and you, most importantly, you need to have an offer from the university. So once you get your offer letter, they will let you know in your letter if you got the scholarship or not and then you need to go ahead and pay your deposit. So the next is country specific. These are scholarships that are judged based um, on your country. So for example, University of Westminster, they offer full scholarships to international students that are coming from developing countries or middle income countries. Another example is University of Cambridge. They award um, outstanding applicants um, that want to study full-time postgraduate courses and they also pay for your full tuition fees as long as you are coming from any country outside the UK. Also, University of Nottingham, they award students that are coming from developing countries or any of the countries from the Commonwealth and they give out 105 scholarships to students. So 30 of 30 of those students are fully funded and 75 of them get like 50% of their tuition fees. Another example is school specific. You need to check if your current university have any links to British universities. Those type of universities offer um, scholarships to their students. I don't have any example for that, but if I do, I would link it below. The next is sports excellence. If you're a student and you have outstanding talent or any sporting experience that is recognized by the athletic union, there are universities that would sponsor you. So for example, um, we have University of Nottingham. They are very, very um, passionate about supporting promising athletes and they have um, financial packages ranging from £1,000 to £8,000 depending on your ability or your skills. You also have University of College Birmingham and it applies to anyone from any country and they have financial support package up to £3,000 and you also need to show evidence of your sporting excellence. So how do you obtain a scholarship? First of all, you need to do your research. 
this is very very important some people apply to universities and they have no idea that their university is even offering a scholarship so you need to check for the deadline you also need to check if you're eligible for a scholarship and you're also able to meet the requirements you also need to try and get an offer letter from your university first of all and they'll let you know if you're eligible for any scholarship that you have so the next thing you need to do is start your application you need to take your time and get all your supporting documents so they might ask you for your transcripts your personal statement motivational letter um, financial documents and they could even ask you to attend an interview for my I didn't attend any interview I just got um, my offer letter I think after two weeks and after I submitted all of my documents so you need to take your time write your personal statement very well motivational letter is supposed to show like you know why they should pick you for this scholarship and your skills performance or any other thing or any other achievements that you have you may also need to get a reference letter from either your university or your workplace so you need to confirm with the university and make sure that the person that is giving you that letter um, knows the requirement so the next is to apply for a scholarship so if you're applying to a university and you need more information on their scholarships then you can send them an email even if it's on their website send them an email asking them you know what scholarships are available if you are eligible or also documents that you will need and then they will help you out they'll put you through and it will be easy for you and finally wait for your letter and hope for the best so that is it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it and you learned one or two if that's the case please do subscribe and also turn your notification button on so you can know every single time i post a video if you have any question at all make sure you drop a comment and i'll reply you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye